Hey, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for June. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe so that you can get all the messages I post each month. If you already know me, welcome back. Oh, let's see what's going on. The cards coming out already are distracting me. <laughs> if you're looking for information on what decks of cards I use, I will leave that in the description box, okay, guys? Along with how to contact me for personal readings. So let's see what's going on in June. Okay, Six of Swords, thinking more positively. Nine of Springs came out first and Ace of Swords. Yeah, a lot of clarity coming to you now. I guess that's why I went ahead and pulled these. I was feeling like um, I needed to pull these two cards first. Um, a lot of clarity coming up for you after a time of feeling blocked, I guess, with the Nine of Springs here. That's the Nine of uh, Wands. And this card beautifully explains the Nine of Wands. It says, protect the fruits of your labor. OK, prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead. So with the nine of wands, we often take it as rejection when it's protection. Right. I call it um, the fence of protection. So it can mean that people are coming towards you when you're about to shine. Right. And want to drain that energy out of you. Um, so if you feel blocked from somebody right now or you have to block somebody right now, don't feel bad about it. You know, taking care of yourself is most important. I don't like um, ghosts, right? We don't like Caspers around here. So if you um, want to go ahead and have this break, this time out, communicate that to people and then move forward with ease, okay? You know, say, look, uh, I need this time out for myself. I'm just protecting myself at this time. Um, you might be in two minds about this, but... I think if it's, if you know it's for the best, go ahead and do it, okay? If you need time to clear your own thoughts, um, that's completely fine. I think a lot of people these days um, want to have constant contact and instant messages and things like that, but absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? So we need time to miss people in this day and age, I think. I guess I'm showing my age sh saying this day and age. But, you know, um, really, you know, this time out and this protection doesn't mean you've given up on somebody. It means you need a time out. You need to protect yourself at this time. It might have even not happened yet. It could have already happened. Um, but I feel like there's just clarity coming from this time out. You could be feeling, you know, with this two of um, wands reversed that the future wasn't looking so bright. And it's because everybody was draining your energy. Okay, so once you're able to, you know, give yourself this time out. And if you can't give yourself this time out, because I know you guys, you have a big heart and you want to help everybody. So maybe the divine stepped in and put that nine of wands in your way and made somebody else block you. But the truth is you'll get so much from this time. Use this time alone, okay? To think, to, you know, clear your own thoughts, to pluck all the weeds that are in your mind that are negative so that you can now start to move forward um, confidently, you know, and with a positive attitude. So, yeah, I feel like this time out um, was good for you whether it happens now or it's just about to happen. Remember, it's not rejection, it's protection and it's going to be good for you here. You're going to able, be able to clear your mind. Maybe when somebody was trying to deceive you because we do have seven swords there. So it could have even been somebody who tried to drain you, tried to lie to you, confuse you, um, that, you know, the divine stepped in and blocked them out of your life for a bit so that you could, you know, get back on track here. The Ace of Pentacles, look at this, beautiful opportunities coming for you now. So we have opportunity to talk clearly with each other, clear up the air. We have an opportunity to offer commitment if that's what we want. And two people being on the same page with this um, Ace of Pentacles here. Both making the offer to each other. Because you've had that time out. And like I said, absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? When everything's instant, people become instant. We start moving on instantly. And we don't really want that. That's what I feel is lacking in society today. 
we don't have time to miss each other. We feel that if we're not with that person or that person's not constantly texting us, we can feel like, okay, they don't want us. So, you know, stepping away from constant reassurance is a good thing because we've sort of built a codependency sort of, you know, society, haven't we? Where everything's instant. I remember like the best things in romance is like getting love letters. You guys call it snail mail, but I just love getting love letters when you don't know when they're going to come or when they're going to turn up, you know, king of swords. <clears throat> so here I feel like you regain your power and I feel how your son, because it is the king of swords here, so it is Aquarius. So how your son conjuncts with Venus, it brings you peace. You know, this time out brings you peace of mind and clarity, you know, and harmony here even. You know, then you can refocus on love or business or whatever it is for you. Because with this two of ones reversed, before this blockage, you know, it, it felt like hopelessness and things like that. So now I'm feeling like inner peace is coming. Maybe you're um, meditating or, you know, doing things like that, having mantras and things with the King of Swords here, gaining higher perspective and clarity and ascending. It's all bringing you this peace and harmony, I feel, which allows you to, you know, focus. Seven of Wands here. So sevens are about challenges uh, in uh, tarot. So you could have faced a lot of challenges here. And like I said, look, challenge for you right now is getting to the hairdressers or the barbershop. <laughs> it has been this for us all, but... I feel like from the probably 7th of June, seeing as it's a 7 here, um, this is the lunar eclipse, okay? So this is going to amplify wherever you're at here. So if you're able to get this clarity of mind, then you're able to, you know, move forward with this clarity with ease. If you, you know, are still letting people walk all over you, this might be a challenging um, eclipse for you regarding relationships. So let's say you're in a relationship with somebody, you're going to have to be very patient and love them unconditionally because they're going to really challenge you and test your patience here. They're going to be really annoying. So either like they cut you off, or they come back trying to fight for your attention, you know, trying to text you, trying to email you or something here. And it, it can come across more annoying right now for you if you're wanting, you know, just space for your mind to do what, you know, an Aquarius mind does, work all these things out. So I feel like it's best that it happens now. Do it sooner rather than later. Okay, so if you want to cut somebody off for a bit, do it now. And then you don't make bigger problems down the line. Okay, if you know, if you're already separated here and they're trying to talk to you, like I said, with the Ace of Swords, just communicate clearly. Look, it's not the, it's nothing about you. It's about me. I'm just looking after myself. I'm respecting my own boundaries here with the King of Swords. And I'm just rebuilding my foundation with the Ace of Pentacles. So I'm strong enough to stand on these. I feel like this seven of wands can bring these unexpected changes and challenges and you need this clear mind in order to be able to get through them smoothly, okay? Because the seven of wands is like, be assertive, keep going, don't back down, you're doing great, you know, we all face challenges. Okay, yeah, the chariot, so you can overcome this successfully, right? These are meant to happen to make you stronger, not to break you, but at a time when everybody is sort of like draining you, they can feel like they're breaking you. So this is why you can step aside and take care of yourself and it's okay. Okay, take a new approach. If you're used to taking care of everybody else, let them, do, let them fall and pick themselves up for a change, right? So the chariot, so this is good energy coming in for you. I feel like, you know, um, you could feel under stress with this seven of wands. 
Okay, so you may feel even like breaking free with a chariot, getting out in your car, wanting to go for a drive here. You know, it may be upsetting to other people, you wanting to spend this time alone, but you've got to take care of yourself, clear your mind here. I don't think you're doing anything negative towards anybody. You just want some time on your own. Yeah, five of wands. So this is this Mars energy, right? This five of wands, seven of wands. You could even feel like really lashing out at people and hurting them with your words if you don't get out, okay? So like I said, go for a drive, go for a walk here, clear your mind, it's okay. Um, they'll get over it with the five of wands. But if it turns into something bigger and more challenging and argumentative, you're easily going to win them in a battle of words. But what, what does it accomplish really? It's like lose-lose, five of wands. Um, so yeah, just going for a drive, having this time out, putting up your nine of wands, protecting yourself, the fruits of your labor is going to be very beneficial for you right now. Okay, knave of wands. So somebody younger can be trying to initiate this conversation with you and because you're not in the mood, it can turn into drama. So that's why I feel like, you know, if you communicate properly and clearly, it's okay to go ahead and block them for a bit. They'll get over it. Um, but I feel your energy will be better spent in creative things. So things you're passionate about. Okay, because Venus is at a good trine right now for you guys. So uh, saying that is retrograde. So it could bring back somebody younger. Um even children, right? You know, if we have grown children, they could come to visit and it could be um, because the five of wands can be family arguments as well. So could even be a brother or something here, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it's just somebody, I think they mean well, they're just immature compared to you and they could be trying to start something, but it ends up starting an argument rather than anything positive. So yeah, I feel like just bring it back, okay? Clear yourself out, give yourself this space to think, to breathe, and it's gonna be fine. You can initiate, um, you know, a romance if you like here, because the chariot's in the heart of the reading. So I feel like if you really want to, it might be an Aquarius trying to initiate a romance um but it would suggest that maybe it's old friends or old lovers karmic issues reappearing here eight of pentacles yeah things you need to work on um maybe you just want to focus on starting up your own business and work so you don't really want to give anybody your attention I don't think, like I said, I don't feel like you're doing anything negative. I feel like it's come from experience. It's come from growth, right? Because with the Eight of Pentacles, that's what he's gaining here. Experience with each pentacle he's made. So throughout your life, you've experienced different kind of people. You know how to deal with them. And some people are just best that, you know, you walk away and not communicate. Um, for others of you, you could be starting a new job here. Um with somebody who I feel is excited about you joining their work team or, you know, you starting something creative that you'll have to work hard on and you'll face challenges, but it'll be worth the reward in the end. Yeah, the wheel. So it'll pay off with uh, the wheel and the chariot in the end if you are starting like a new business venture or something creative. Beautiful time for that with Venus, okay? Um, if you're not really interested in love, then start something creative, a hobby, something like that, something entertaining, decorating even. It's a really good time to start these things, to change, you know, your whole environment and things like that, to change the energy, okay? Get it flowing, I'm doing this. <laughs> Uh, you know, you'd think I was Italian doing this all the time, talking with my hands, but I feel like getting the energy moving through your house, it just, today I saved, saged my house. So yeah, I feel like getting this positive energy flowing again through your house is going to be a big deal because, you know, you faced all these challenges and maybe you're, some people have got bad energy around you. 
and you need to block them out so this good stuff can come in. I mean, if you do it straight away, then the lunar eclipse will amplify the harmonious energy. So clearing spaces, clearing your home, tidying up, um, saging, if you like, you know, taking real initiative to make these positive changes will bring in, um, you know, a real firm foundation that you can build on with the Ace of Pentacles or a huge job offer here. Good luck, guys.